The over 50 hectares of uncultivated land, according to Masari, are within the 10 local government areas bedeviled by banditry. This is because 90% of the entire population of Kasina people are farmers, either commercial or subsistent. According to Masari, the incident alone made the output of farmers drop drastically in the year 2020. He hopes for a better farming season this year. He added that the government is doing all things possible to ensure peace and security returns to the troubled areas. To avoid a recurrence of the loss of agricultural land to non-cultivation, the Coalition of Civil Society Organizations Chairman Abdurrahman Abdullahi is calling on the federal government to secure the farmers in order to motivate them back to their farmlands. The way uh, the security situation is deteriorating by the day is a serious one, especially uh, at this time when we are approaching rainy season. In fact, it is a serious problem because going by uh, what is going on, uh, it will be hard for farmers to farm their farmlands, which will have a lot of implication in terms of food security and economic uh, uh, life of our people. He added that if adequate measure is not taken in these regards, hunger, famine, food insecurity, as well as an increase in criminal activities will be on the rise, as most farmers are now abandoning their communities to a safer place mostly within the urban areas. This by implication will affect even uh, their activities during the rainy season, which will have a serious effect uh, to the economy to, uh, of the society and it will increase the rate of criminality because uh, by the time people will be left with nothing to eat, then obviously you will have more people joining the gang and what have you. Although there is a relative reduction in the attacks on communities in the last three months, the call on the federal government to do the needful security-wise will further serve as a moral booster for farmers to return to their communities and farmlands without fear of being abducted or killed while working on their farmlands. Zachary Omale, AIT News, Katsina.